Hey, this is Michelle Visa. Scoochioso. Uh, Juicy Monet. And you're listening to the Can't Live With Them. Can't Live Without Them. Podcast. We're talking all things in relationships, situationships, and dating. And it get nasty. Uh. What's up, y'all? It's Michelle Visa, and you're locked into Can't Live With Them, Can't Live Without Them podcast. My co-host, where you at? It's your boy, Scoochie. Y'all know what it is, man. What's good, Juicy Monet? And we have a very special guest today, Dre Cash. Man, clap it up for Dre yeah. Cash. Clap it up, clap it up. What's going on, y'all? What's, What's good with you? my boy? Yeah, cool. Yeah, man, I just seen that A&R poster that chips up today. Oh, yeah, so How you feeling? Yeah, Blessed. Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. And Scoochie, he's rocking your line, Forever Mackin'. Yeah, yeah. It's my boy. That's been cause. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about Forever Mackin', man. Let's get into that. Um, that's a, it's a clothing line that me and um, my son's mother, we uh, we had got an LLC probably a couple years ago. Okay. And um, uh, I don't know, like, it like. It just was like we. I just used to always say the word "macking," like I'm chilling, and then she just like kind of threw the forever on there. Mm-hmm. Was always running with it, so we just it's went taking with it. off, that's man. That's taking what's off. Up. Y'all still together, or y'all just doing yeah, business nah, together? Nah, that's you know, that's, ah. that's my that's my number one lady still. Yeah, that's we just talking about that last right. week. Working together, up. doing yeah. business together. We yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Roll together. All right, what's that's up? Perfect. What's up with the new music? What can we expect? Um, I was I got um. I'm in the process of working on um, some music with the, uh, I don't know how to exactly pronounce it, but it's like Kel, um, I just met him, he, he's like a producer, he did the My Truck uh, beat. Okay, uh, where he, he from? Um, he's from Buffalo, but, okay. but he's stationed out in LA, and I'm, I'm about to get some work done with him. Me and Keys uh, was talking about getting some work done. Okay. Um, yeah, my boy Lil Perko from Rock Chester, we supposed to be getting some work done. He's picking up, he's going crazy on Rock. A lot, of, a lot of local producers. Right. Work. Yeah, but the little Perko dude, he, uh, he like a rapper. He kind of like little, like Lil little Dirt. Okay. He he real big out there in, in Rochester. So. Okay, shout yeah. out to Lil Perko. Yeah. Yo, one thing I must say, you dropping consistently. You're staying yeah. on, you know what I mean? You got your foot on their necks. You yeah. out here dropping song after song. Yeah, you yeah. just drop who what, man? Tell us about that, man. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's moving right now. Yeah, you know what's crazy, my... Um, my son's mother, she's like, that was like one of her favorite songs. So that's why she in the video dancing yeah. and stuff with me. But <laughs> that was like one of her favorite songs. She just told me to drop it. Some, yeah. I usually just be going off of what everybody say around me. Yeah. Okay. And if they say like, you know. It's like, the one. It's the one. Like, let's do it. Yeah. Then we, then I just drop. That, that's, that's expected to follow up chips? Nah, I don't. Nah, nah, like, what? Chips I'm, went crazy. Chips went so but I don't like. I just I don't know because I didn't even expect chips to go crazy. It okay. really was a light a light one. We see academics hit you today. Yeah, he posted that joint today. He seen that. Wake major. up in the morning. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yo, this is that's this major. big. Yeah. That's major. When uh, when did you realize it was taking off? Was it chips? Uh, what? because. I was gonna say when them kids jumped on it. Yeah, Once them nah, kids start posting it, yeah, it went cause, crazy. Because you like around that time, I used to post videos and they would do like probably like a thousand views in like a month or something like that. So when I had posted that one, well, actually, I didn't even post it. Uh, Eric Jamal ended up dropping it for me because um, I had like got pulled over and uh, like went to jail for a night. And um, when I got out, I, I went right off. I'm like, bro, like, what you dropping my music? Mm. I'm like, bro, yeah, that's unapproved. Yeah. He's like, bro, this joint had like 3,500 in one day. So I'm like, Ooh. I'm like, I right. the day wasn't even over. Matter of fact, but he dropped it on his. He dropped it. No, nah, he his dropped too. it on. He dropped it on my YouTube. Okay, like, that's good. That's that's good. Okay, okay. So executive lazy. decision right there. <laughs> <laughs> good one. That's major. Yeah. So <laughs> after that, then it just then it like by the first like day or two, yeah, like the first day, it did like 7,000 views, and then um like. The next day, that's when like mad little kids just start. Man, I, I, me. I seen it. So I'm, I seen uh, it I'm, they was writing me on like literally everything, and it was just like you know they kids. So they just like, yo, is this really J Cass? Like, yo, say hi back. <laughs> like, yo. So that's when I knew it was like it was picking up crazy. Yeah, when the, the kids, kids is the ones that made it that made it take off like that. Now, do you feel you gotta support that fan base or you gotta keep it? For yeah, adults. No, nah, I must. I'm always like. You know, I'm grown, so I'm going to talk about, right. like, some grown stuff, but I'm going to still cater to them. That's what made me do the uh, the um, high school tour, like. Okay. That's what made me do that, yeah. like, I'm going to just do that because they rock with me crazy. 
Speaking of the tours, has uh, COVID affected that anyway? Yeah, I feel like it's. I feel like because you know I had the whole 2019, okay. so like I was like I was booming that whole year. I even did the one show. Remember we did the uh, mm-hmm. at the uh, competition? At, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. base competition. Yeah. It was lit. They were screaming, they going was crazy, going crazy. So yeah. now, so uh, during 20, yeah, once 2020 hit, it was like I couldn't get no more shows. As soon as, as soon as the chip joint yeah. popped off, I was getting a thousand a show off rip. I was like, dang, that's crazy. I'm used, I'm, I, I, I watch a lot of interviews, so like I, I know rappers that was saying they was only getting like three hundred their first yeah. show. I jumped mm. right out the gate, was getting a thousand. A band show, a band that's, show, that's like bad. easy. They was get promoters was giving it to me easy, no problem. Yeah. Then the COVID shut everything down. I see so, you was moving. So was I like, see you was moving. Yeah, moving, was moving. Improving. Well, this is a, a podcast about relationships, situationships, and dating. So okay. we got to get into that, okay? Yeah, we got to get into that. that. Yeah, you can do that. All right, all right. So uh, we're talking today, Kim and Kanye. They're divorcing. Um, do you... Kanye... <laughs> Kanye different. Kim's third marriage, though. So everybody's saying it was Kanye. Kanye went crazy and things like that. But this is also her third marriage. Failed marriage. Kim. I think it's Kanye. He said it might be Kim. <laughs> it might be Kim. <laughs> nah, it might be. Kanye. You think it's Kanye? Why it got to be Kim, though? Because she, she don't do the roller like, coaster. I don't, I don't want to say, like, it's Kim. Because I think they were saying, like, he was in, like, a bind or something. And she helped him, like, get out mm-hmm. of that bind. Okay. So she, probably, paid, she paid some money for, for some things that right. he had going on. So she probably was just, she probably was holding it down or whatever. But they probably just <laughs> fell out of love or something. She probably was yeah. having them ideas. You know, he was trying to make cars float and shit. He wanted to be the president. <laughs> yeah, she probably was like, I'm about to Yeah, this motherfucker yeah. trying to do <laughs> everything. Like, I'm about to here. <laughs> and then I'm also <laughs> heard too that he was kind of controlling like you know she's always been the type to show her body I mean oh, she's yeah, had a sex yeah. tape she's done all these things and she's just a naturally you know person that just is, she likes to show herself so I also heard he was very controlling about that but I, I'm not I'm not sure whose fault it is but like he said maybe people just fall out of love they got about three four babies out the deal he don't play about his wife <laughs> He don't, but damn, he, he knew what know. she was about. I don't, yeah. I, I, like, I don't like when niggas do that. Mm. You met me naked. Don't mm-hmm. try to put no clothes on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> facts, <laughs> facts, facts, facts. Okay, and speaking of, uh, we in Kardashian world. Chloe, Chloe okay. and Tristan, they are actually um, they're talking about getting back together, and those people are giving a lot of backlash because he cheated on her publicly and different things like that. But is it wrong to you know? Is it Bootsy made a comment the other day, speaking about Lori Harvey, about how women dog other women who go back to you know, and stay with the same man, but they praise women for sleeping around or going right. and hopping off to the next one. So what do you guys think about, you know, getting back together after cheating? Um, is Chloe wrong? I mean, that is her child's father. She only has one child. What do you guys think? Oh, uh, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, I think, like, if it's, like, it it kind of it kind of depends because you know like they make it to where like a dude could just dog a woman out mm-hmm. yeah. and then then she just can't she can't do she basically got to just deal with that I think that's kind of like it's kind of like not fair not saying like I'm not just giving a green light to just like yo female just straight up cheat but if he cheated and you got yours back or whatever the case is like all right now yeah even if we even if you yeah. know if it's if it, if the love is strong and it's and it's you know we got that bond. Like you go, you gonna start over and probably get cheated on by somebody I else. I mean, I agree. That's yeah, facts. it's hard to start over. It's different yeah. when you famous though, because everything is jotted Probably. down in like, the limelight. Yeah. Like, what did he really do with Jordan? We don't know. That like that shit just got blew up because of it was a friend. Like, so mm. I don't know. Jordan said she didn't do it. I don't know. She better say that. I say that's what they all going to say. I say that shit too. Or that's like, what they I ain't do say. nothing. Listen, no. uh, <laughs> definitely. What's your thought, Scooch? What you think? I think that for anybody, one and done, man. Mm, if if okay. you if you if you if you catch a dude cheating on you, that's one and done. If you catch a girl cheating on you, that's mm, one and done. Ain't no ain't done? no that's it's one and done. Ain't no loyalty, ain't no love, ain't none wow. of that. It's like for for you for you to choose that person, you gotta know that that's number one. So it's a different type of bond. So you don't cross that, yeah. and then once you do cross that line. Everything else out the window. It's like right, it's, you can't trust them no more. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard, hard to, to trust back. anything yeah, yeah, after that. Girl. that. Yeah. They could be looking at you different, talking to you different. Mm-hmm. You just, it ain't going to be the yeah. same. So. Yeah. Forgiveness, though. I do that shit. Like, you don't got to forget, yeah, but, but you can yeah, forgive them. I mean, mm-hmm. so, sometimes it ain't going to work out like that. Right. You know what I mean? I'd rather, 
I'd rather we be friends and just move on with life. But mm. like I, like we said, I can't trust you again. It's, it's always going to be. It's, it's dope. We still be friends, though. It's, yeah. That's, I, that's dope. But, like, I still be friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, Juicy. Um, it's time for what's on your mind. What is it? What's <laughs> on your mind? What are you thinking Let's about today? too much on my mind. You want me to keep it uh, classy <laughs> or nasty? You want me to go classy or nasty? You know you like to go spicy, so mm-hmm. we get a little spicy today. Well, we get All a little right, spicy. I'm going to ask the fellas, like, when you, uh, can I say fucking? <laughs> When you when you with a girl, what what position you like to hit her with first? Like, Favorite position, fellas. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a back shot type of nigga. Like, See, like, straight yeah, to the, the back. Straight to the uh, doggy style. Yeah, I'm a, doggy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a woof, agree woof. too. I like the back shots. I think my favorite though is. <laughs> on the side, you know what I mean. On the side, from the side. Yeah. Some oh, people you, can't even get in yeah. that position. Yeah. Some people can't get up in that side oh, like spicy. that. <laughs> oh, he's spicy. Yeah, spicy. <laughs> and you? Oh, oh, I mean, I'm the I'm the uh, the doggy wolf wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Bend it over. Yeah, yeah. Let's. You know, mm. We can take turns with this. I would say mine. I I'm gonna ride it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride okay, it. Okay, Sierra, gonna, you better. Yeah, <laughs> because that's how I get my rocks off fast. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what yeah, I'm going okay. to do. Straight and point. you're in a position to like, if you want to kiss them, if you want your ass smacked, like right. you're you oh. that, you can hit all different types okay, of stuff okay. right there. You trying to get knees ten and one or feet? You you know what I mean? You good? You do that frog? You the you the frog? You do that frog move? <laughs> I got about four bounces and I'm yo I'm knees. knees. <laughs> Tell you, my aunt she told me get a get a cowgirl hat, listen and put that joint on and just ride it like a rodeo. Oh, <laughs> know what I mean, your aunt. Yep. Oh, she she knows. Some, <laughs> she down. She knows some shit. Let's say. Uh, 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 uh. She knows some shit. Scoochie, Scoochie, what's on your mind? Man, I'm just uh, I'm waiting on them taxes to drop. <laughs> 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 okay, shot. okay, so I got a question off of that. Okay. Yeah. Should women oh, yeah. give men nope. <laughs> oh, man. a portion of them taxes? Because that gets real crazy. It they is. get crazy so, over that. So we dealing with men or this old this old baby father? Mm, no, this is somebody you fuck with. I guess your baby father. We talking baby father because okay. that's how you get to earn income credit from the child. So we talking baby father, baby daddy. Um, but if it's not your man, what do you do? Like, what what, what do you think? Because you let me keep in mind that if you don't have a job, you're not going to get taxes back anyway. anyway. So you have to work. So, right. What you think? Don't get y'all taxes to these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> what if he want to flip it? Right. Let me flip your shit. Let nah. me flip that shit. Nah, I think I think like I think a, a male, a, the baby father, is entitled if. He's doing his job. If he's putting in that work, yeah. If he's putting in that work, yeah. You know, like, give him a little son if he's making sure, like... You know, like a nickel by financial. Nah, like you get fifteen racks or something back. Nah, you ain't gonna like get a nickel. You get fifteen racks back, and I know that you got you got my child all day, twenty four seven. But I'm still doing my job. You give me a little five piece. Yeah. I'll let you keep yeah, the time. People out here getting fifteen like, racks. You know, people do get yeah, a lot. Get, who? Get, what? Yeah. They gotta have like multiple children for this. Like, know. who getting fifteen um, racks? Okay, exactly. Oh, no. just, nah, they been on TurboTax <laughs> and doing something else. It's up to three thousand a child now, man. What? Three thousand. 3600 somewhere up in that number right there. Oh, yeah. Right. I gotta, I'm going to have to have yeah. another baby. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm going to have to get back in there. My oh, daughter yeah. about, oh, I need Yo. to get a young one. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I feel it because the guys want to feel special and appreciated. Yeah. You got to kick them out something. Buy them some t-shirts, some socks. Nah, don't <laughs> want that. Just hand me. Damn. It depends. You get like 7000 or something. You nope. give me like 2500 Don't, don't, don't get but 15 also, racks and give them 250 Okay, we talking. The <laughs> average person, I don't think, is getting back 15 what racks. They, okay, we saying the average like, person may be like 6000 like yeah. something like that. The average person. Yeah. I'll take two. Mm. Me too. Mm. I don't know. Oh Damn. man! Damn, <laughs> Damn. you keep the fours. You keep the fours. <laughs> it depends on our relationship. Yeah, no nope. Because I don't give my baby daddy nothing. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like too. If the guy isn't making money, like let your girl keep their money. Like let her yeah. get up. Sometimes men be afraid when they. I feel like when a girl get her her, her bag. They don't want her up. They want their, right. her to need them. So it's like, why we want to take my little ends? You know what it's I mean? Gonna be That's gone how soon. I feel. Is that? That's gonna be gone. That's gonna be I got blown. shit to do. It's gonna be gone. Listen. 
So, okay, so I, Scoochie said give him a little something. Dre said give him a little something. We're going to give him a little something. Don't be stingy. Yeah. Give him a little yeah. something. If it was reversed, though, what you going to do? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Cause I feel like you know you gotta do you gotta you gotta spend on a female regardless if you're a male. So of anyway. course I'm a chop bro, but like man, if I'm if I get like six bones back or something, like that, I give her probably fifteen. Hell no, I'm giving her two fifty. <laughs> Yo, T Bone, uh, you ain't right. You but you just was <laughs> Two hundred fifty dollars. That's not even a good yeah. wig. He don't so, like so, her. That's the yeah. Bob wig. He don't yeah, like, like her. He don't the, like her. The joint on the bottom row, not even the top. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she better spread that shit, Gacky. Yo. <laughs> Okay, so what's on my mind tonight? Um, actually, was inspired by one of your posts. Oh, wait. We're talking about bills, 50-50, splitting bills and something like that. Didn't you just post something like that the I, other day? I think I shared it or something. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> so we're talking about should, um, should the couples split bills 50-50? Yeah. What do you guys think? Because some people think, you I know. I don't think so. What? I, mm. think the, I think the male... So like, well, it depends because like, if, if of course if y'all living together, then yeah, the male gotta he gotta pay the rent. He got of course you gotta pay the rent off rip, and it depends on the situation that the female is in. Like if she's not working or not, then you gotta just take care of all the bills and you know let her take care of the child. Or if y'all don't have kids, let her clean up and figure out how she's gonna get on her feet. But if she is working or whatever the case is. Man, she can handle some utility bills or something. Like you know, I don't think all the weight need to be on the man. Right. Yeah. But the rent, like you feel me, that's the biggest portion. So like right. you know, like a, a male, you, you your your job is to get money anyway. So you might mm. as well pay. Interesting. I mean, I don't know because I date a girl and we gonna split it. If I dated a nigga though, <laughs> you you, you got that. everything. You, yeah, I'm gonna do the other female. She, he gonna you don't be seeing the female. <laughs> he going cheat. I see. Yo, somebody yeah. said that. Somebody I'm said if I though. pay all the bills, I'm cheating whenever I want. I don't get it, it I'm, though. I'm, I'm, I'm nah, I guess I can understand that, but damn. Yeah. But that's okay. Pay the bills. Um, I cheat too, then. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> let's, make it, let's make it easy. Then. <laughs> Yo. I think yeah. it's a real partnership, man. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think one of the biggest things in relationship is understanding the finances. So once y'all got that together to understand, if you bringing in this type of income, when I'm bringing in this type of income, mm -hmm. we should be it should be somewhere that we can meet in the right. middle, exactly, right. and, and okay. handle this business. Because okay. you know I mean? so, money causes a lot of problems in relationships. That's, that's the number one. It's, that's, it that's, that's a big anything, problem though. in relationships. Yeah, I've yeah. seen men not work and make women hold it down. I've seen that. Um, bad, like <laughs> all the way bad. And then I've seen men, you know what I'm saying, pay all the bills. And then the woman is like controlled and can't do anything and has a curfew and can't. Damn. Yeah, it's real like that. We got to save um, her. Where's she at? I just feel like. I just feel like. Yo. I don't know. I feel like it depends on who's who's making the, more, the most money. Then yeah. that, the biggest, like he said, the rent should be on that person. Maybe the yeah. woman pays utilities or okay. something like that. I think that could work. I don't think. I'm all about building and contributing. I wouldn't want somebody just to straight take care of me because then I like again, I would think that you're trying to like control me yeah. and tell me what I can do and where I can right. go and shit like that. So definitely I'm all about building and like he said, a partnership, a team. So yeah, I would I'm definitely contributing to the bills. Absolutely. Okay. Um all right. So we're going into our would you rather game. Juicy Juicy, what's the would you rather <laughs> game? Like that go right with what we just was talking about. Yeah. Uh, mine was would you rather fuck with somebody that pay all your bills but cheat on you? Or they loyal but they broke as fuck. <laughs> Dang. What would you do? Don't go to me first because I have no idea. We going to Dre. <laughs> uh well, I'm like, but uh, I don't know, cause like for it's a dude right. that's kinda like if a female got to pay all the bills and all that, I've never really been in that. <laughs> so I don't know. I've never been there. I've always, just, I've right. always been the provider. You can't but, relate. Yeah, I can't okay. relate. So, But I'm not, at, like, be broke and then they loyal. Good or But or get, I ain't going to lie. I would, I'll take the broke and the loyal. I think it's different for a man it and is, a woman. It is, because if I yeah, was to do, I'd take that broke bitch. Well, yeah, because over <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, come here, baby. Nah, because I'm just thinking about it as, like, 
that seeing like seeing that like that could, that hurts sometimes. It like, hurts, you know I mean? and not only you could you come home to, with STDs, yeah. pregnancy, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. all type of that. shit. You don't really want. Well, I wouldn't want to deal with that. I'm not trying to deal with nobody right, right. being hurt and all yeah. that. So I take the broke. I will take that frustration rather than the cheating frustration. Mm-hmm. Damn, I can think- I pick both? <laughs> <laughs> because you know what like that's what's going on like celebrity in the industry like they they cheating they asses off because they have the money to they do so and it's like okay shit. you know if i buy you a bag or you, you know you do this you be yeah. good is it worth it though is it worth it well they probably they might have I a mean, little side piece where too, you though. going with an eighty thousand dollar bag you ain't going nowhere Thanks. i don't Thanks. freaking know if i want an eighty thousand dollar bag i want eighty thousand in a bank in it? Right. What, i mean what, 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 like it's gonna be another 80 in the, it gotta no, be another 80 it in gotta the bag. be if you're gonna buy that bag it gotta be it gotta be what's your decision like I, I think loyalty over money, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm like I said, yeah. one and done. I'm not. Yeah. I ain't checking for no cheaters, man. I ain't got time for that. It's too much out here. You know what I mean? Like, what if like, she got that glass though? Yo, you funny as <laughs> <stuff. laughs> What if she got what, that what if that other shit just don't compare? Like, damn, my bitch a cheater, but her shit. That shit hired too, guy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like when you sharing it with it's somebody. Fine, like, I don't know. I don't want to yeah. fuck no raw, raw when I'm no motherfuckers is cheating. Yeah, you know what true. I'm saying? Like, that's just how I am. Like, that's I don't want though. that shit. I'm I, sorry. Be people out here even knowing they they partner cheating and still just. Deal but sometimes, it. yeah, the only reason why they're dealing with it is because the bag is there. Yeah. That's the only reason. Mm-hmm. Like, like I done heard females tell me that, like, I don't give a fuck. I still get mine in the end. Mm-hmm. Like, I, <laughs> I just fight, I just fight the car for five bones just the other day. Mm-hmm. He can do what the fuck he want to do. She they got to have somebody on the side. Doing. Exactly. She probably doing what she want to do on the side. Oof, I would definitely say broke. I would take the broke nigga. Cause, what? Because they shit, they're going to be doing everything. They Rubbing clean. feet. You're going to be Sucking tight. toes, oh, eating shit. ass. <laughs> shit. Ooh, Massages. And you List. ain't got to worry about your feelings being crunched. Listen, why he, not? But you got to worry about you. why the fuck you still breathe over your shoulder when you're trying to watch TV. Oh, no, you're going to find a hobby. Go sit your ass <laughs> over there. Nah, he you're going to do something else. Nope, do that broke else. nigga clingy. He on them feet. All right, I'm going to show you some things. We're going to cook. We're going to show you some some shit to do <laughs> nah for real no, for I don't sure. want that cheating shit that shit is frustrating nah, like I can't man. I've been mm-mm. went crazy I'm a recovering hoe I know I ain't trying Damn. to you, know, you ain't going back I ain't going okay. back that shit too much of a headache it, it, it is I got, I got, it's too many people to please I gotta keep up with lies <laughs> and, well, definitely you I'm can't do it I'm supposed to be out here at this time and I don't text the wrong person I'm here. Then when you calling out for a week, some, one of your little story you pop out, you like, damn, I was just calling for a whole little week. She wanted to text out the blue. Maybe it seemed like we were just doing something. Oh, my, 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 people, my people weeks. just told me he was at I'm a disclosed location that somebody else seen him at and called his people there. She walked in, like, just gave him a hug casually. Seen the chick was like, oh, how you doing? You good? It's like, but. I like her. Hopefully she beat his ass later. A disclosed location. Like, how you know I was here? Damn. You, for somebody a op, day. somebody a op, yeah. somebody for knows Valentine's something. Day. But she pulled up though. She, <laughs> she pulled she up on scared. some chills. She probably left yeah. right from there and went to her Valentine's. <laughs> like, yeah. right. like, like okay, nigga, nigga. I, I got, got you. For she, she was like, like, like I was thinking about it, but <laughs> now I'm gonna do it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Definitely uh, take a broke over cheat, and I'm sorry, it's too, it's too much. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want the money Let's go to the next topic All right, Okay next topic This is something I've seen Because I'm very curious Men Liposuction What do you think Man It's a trend that men Are getting liposuction Like We really? know Yes What you mean like- Athletes Celebrities They have been seen Getting liposuction Getting their abs done And everything What are your thoughts on that Would you Want to mm. do it? Like nah, I'm cool. I'm comfortable. With my, I'm comfortable with everything I got going on. I ain't tripping. Yeah, I ain't doing it neither. I ain't doing it neither. But it's a trend. It's going around. It's definitely going I ain't around. I know that. I thought you. But were about to because <laughs> don't you say it's, it's a trend. That's why. That's the only it reason. It, just oh, like yeah. what happened with females. Right. When they when they when the first one got her BBL. The next one, the next one. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that's what she was about to say. It's, niggas it's, like, it's niggas lit. like females. No, men is getting it. I mean, what? Okay, so okay, okay, okay. So okay, okay. I don't put up his body's business out there, but this is a personal thing that I know somebody told me. So her man requested that she get, um, you know, some work done. Do, Do you think pay? that's offensive? Exactly. Do Are you, you paying? Pay, uh, that's hard because if he 
slid the money and requested it, I'm gonna take the money and be like, I guess. But but would you feel offended? Oh, I, right. I, would I would, your girl be offended? Would offended. you be offended if your girl said, "Hey, man, I need you to get some liposuction"? Like, damn, like, how was it said? Mm. How was it said? I, did you whisper it? Or was it like, <laughs> what, you was blank, like, yo. I feel like I would be offended. I, I feel like I would them. be really offended. But me, like, that's why I'm in the gym. You know what I mean? Like, and I want a nigga that's in the gym working out. Don't give me that so, dad bod. <laughs> would it be different? I don't want to see that shit. Would it be different if she asked him, honey, could you get my that. body done? I think so. Even though if he was thinking it, right, I just then, feel it's like. like she presented it rather than saying, like, you need to change this. Right. Uh uh-huh. <laughs> that really was a because uh, I don't know. <laughs> we are. Uh, oh gosh, I love it. I love talking about this stuff because this stuff I want to know. All right. Um. La- uh, lastly, uh, manscaping. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Scoochie? Manscaping. Okay. Like men like women to be bald down there. Okay. Oh, okay. Clean cut. Some men think they don't have to be. They are walking around with the froze. Like, are you are you four men scaping against it? I'm all for it. I don't want to see that fucking fro, that seventy. That shit, shit better be. Um, I don't want to see it. Just like y'all don't want to see it, and y'all don't want <laughs> you caught it. That seventies fro. I don't want to see that shit. But so some you, people do like an afro on there. So Shout you, out to those people. So you saying you would rather you do? I don't want no hair. No hair at all. I want. Like I don't want no chest hair. I want bald <laughs> eagle down there. Damn. Mm. How do you guys feel about that? Because they want the woman to be bald and sh- and, and landing scapes and that is a- just you know yeah you know what fucked me up like when she going she going ninety on the joint and she stopped and to take a piece of hair. Her yeah. mouth, that's <laughs> fucked me up. Like that fucked me up. <laughs> That Why? Me up. Uh, it's disturbing to our, our talk. That's what I'm just saying. Oh, it disturbed me too. Okay. She didn't stop. So I wonder. I might consider that shit just because, like, damn, I'm gonna see you got the hair on your mouth. I'm not that Let me get that for you. Get, <laughs> get that off your mouth. That, that shit might have lint in it. I don't fucking damn, know. What kind of, I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, she, she making them real, real nasty. It's manscaping <laughs> kits out there, fellas. Ladies want that shit bald, or I guess you can ask your woman what's her preference. Period. Mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't. So you deal with a woman. You yeah, want her having a fro, or you want it bald? Is is this the person I've been fucking with for a while? New bitches, <laughs> you better look smooth. Regular, regular, you could take a little hairy. Yeah. I'm not saying all the time, but I'm not. I don't think I'm picky like that. Like I, don't, I ain't gonna be like, nah, nigga, that shit water. Hair, fuck right? that hair. Yeah, no, like, I don't care. I don't care that, that shit that's water. Shit. That's shit gotta I, be. Smooth, you as like. men, would y'all be willing to go get manscaped or do it yourself if a woman wanted you to? If my lady said, yeah, then I would. Then I wouldn't. So y'all got some froze in there. I wouldn't. My, I wouldn't do it. My son, not my. I ain't about to be <laughs> with, the, with the crazy. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it trimmed Trim up. Trim it. Trim. Yeah, please, proper. please cut it. Trim it. Do something. Trim it. Please. But straight ball though. Like damn. Right. Just moisturize. Make sure that hair don't fall off. <laughs> hair naturally falls off. It really out. do. You gonna get that in your teeth? Yeah, you just gonna kill me like that? Just <laughs> my bad. I'm just right. saying, savage, I'm, Scoochie. I'm trying to tell uh, yeah. you something. I don't want you moisturize getting... my shit and shit. You don't moisturize it? <laughs> I do. I, I, I'm I, about to say. I moisturize here at the tongue. <laughs> 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 I didn't think you did. I'm just like, hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to tell fellas it is kits out there or you can just get some razor you could get your uh, a razor listen if y'all trying you to get fuck a, with her um, listen no <laughs> she, she put it out there fellas listen just, I want it I'm just saying not saying that I haven't you know what I'm saying but this is what I what I what prefer I like, what I would like to see what if it's a big dick with a lot of hair <laughs> which is still sucking <laughs> <laughs> it's my nigga yeah fuck <laughs> that's what he got that's Look, fun. see, now it changed. <laughs> <laughs> she done changed up. Listen, now. But I would prefer if the shit was manscaped. Period. She wants y'all shit to stick to y'all balls, like pull it off type shit. Listen, I know what I'm talking about. No, it's Listen, a time for that. It's sweating. a time for that. You know? fucking sweating. <laughs> once, you get older, once you get older, you're going to know. It's a time for that. I feel like when you get older, that's when you be like, yeah. oh, I'm a slack. I'm going to, you know what I mean? You, people get comfortable. You got to spice it up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's a part of grooming. You what about that be fruit roll We use that. You use yeah, that. Like that. That's a good. The grapefruit. Like get all in the hair. The pop rock. Oh, you don't like that? No. I like it all. 
No, no I wonder yeah. if, if it get it messy. Like it gets thing. sticky. Yeah. Don't it's use sticky. the whole thing, ladies. With tear it in half? Yeah, what the fuck? Why you? You gonna first of all, you gonna be sucking too long. <laughs> Let you know that. <laughs> Cut it in half. <laughs> Put a little bit. You ain't gotta go crazy. It's Trey. Trey like, like, it. <laughs> it's gonna be sticky. <laughs> Good information. Let me know some. Yeah, we want everybody to learn me. something from this. I like to learn from the guys because I know sometimes yeah, I, like I can be. Us. Sometimes I can be stubborn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like we gotta this. learn something. <laughs> Like, like the this. relationships in the black community be strained. Like we really got to figure out how to please each other and mm-hmm. and love each other and stick together. That's good communication to help with all of yeah. It. So speaking right. of that, real quick, um, lingerie. What do you guys think? Do you prefer it or not? I mean, especially in a long term relationship, you want to do spicy things. What do you think? I love it. I love it. So it ain't got to be every it. day neither. Yeah, it don't got to be every yeah. day. It's a surprise, know. like boom. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's yeah, that. Yeah. But I do, I do like the. You got some the, fucking I, lingerie I on, right? I'm about to say, right say I, I didn't fucked it up because I wear a lingerie shirt almost every day. <laughs> 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 My yeah, I, bad. Like, I, I think that I think that that's wavy. Yeah. You know that I, I like it. You like it, at, like you said, not every day, but like kind of like every a surprise. Day, but you know, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want, I don't want to, you know, keep when I come in, I come in late night. You got some lingerie on, hair probably yeah, still the down a little bit. Set the Make it wavy. Don't get too yeah. comfortable with me where you <laughs> every night I'm coming in and just because you in the house, you got the bonnet on, Ooh. the baggy, I know. The I baggy to... sweatpants <laughs> on, with the t-shirt with the hole in it, the t-shirt with the hole in it, <laughs> like come on, wig like, done come. came off, yeah, straight silky on. Yeah, you feel me, like, yo. Even though y'all still fuck with that, right? That's still cool, right? That's the hood it's, shit. It's different for them. That's <laughs> some, the hood some, shit. Sometimes that should be sexy too. Right, sometimes. exactly. Sometimes with the silky fucking hood braids to the back. <laughs> Why not? Yo, right. <laughs> we going to sleep after she anyway. She just got done watching this is in that shit. I'm right, man. Right over the sink real quick. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Pour a palm olive on. <laughs> Yo. Can't live with them. Can't live without. <laughs> Dre Cash, what you got coming up for 2021? Let us know. I got um some a uh, couple more interviews. I'm supposed to be doing with DJ Small Eyes. Um, I got something coming in the works with uh, No Jumper. Hold Excuse on, say me. that again because I failed. Start over. I got um, but uh, yeah, I got um an interview coming up with DJ Small Eyes. Um, I got some work coming with uh, No Jumper. I don't know if you know No Jumper. It's 15 Minutes of Fame, right? That's, that's no not, Jumper? No Jumper? No. No, nah, that's what the dude, um, Adam. Okay. It's like, okay. like Adam uh, 22 or something like that. I got some uh, stuff coming with them. And um, I kind of just be just like winging it. It's a new project on the way? I was thinking about dropping the um, Fabric Delavan tape, huh? but I don't know if I want to drop a tape or if I want to just come straight like singles, singles, singles until mm-hmm. I get that other chips. Mm-hmm. And, you know, because I'm I, now that I know, now I feel like it's no free music. Like put yeah. that shit on yeah, Distro Kid. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like the mixtape. Okay, it's nice to get buzzing, but it's like you, you know what I mean? You want yeah. I feel like I don't know. I could be wrong, but I feel like. People attention spans be like when you not like right. when you local, no. they right. they not gonna keep listening to like they might not listen to your tape like yeah. how they would listen to the single. Right. Mm-hmm. So if I drop yep. five singles, they will listen to you like you feel me. I'm gonna get that whole listen. You can but, listen to one song, right? You can listen to one song, mm-hmm. but like thirteen, they probably listen to like six of them or mm-hmm. something like that mm-hmm. most of the time. And just because you not like you ain't you ain't global or you not like right. a big enough artist yet. Yeah. I totally agree. I think yeah. just drop them singles. Yeah. We're definitely going to support Dre Cash. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanna, I wanna Forever Mackin. That's dope. I want to come back on here again. Yeah, like we have fun, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm, spicy. We got spicy, spicy. tonight. <laughs> I think he want an extra spice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get this man in trouble. Stop oh, okay. And your baby is so cute, by the way. Thank oh, you. my gosh. Oh, He's Bless adorable. Yeah, How old is he? He's one years old. That's the baby. Ooh, yeah, I love baby. it. I love the I love the um the fatherhood life. Mm. That's, good, man. That's a blessing, man. Um, I like to hear people say that, man, because they don't give black fathers enough credit, man. Yeah, I love they it. don't give these guys credit. Well, I, I appreciate like, I, 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 I see why they they give the mothers the credit and stuff because I'm gonna be the it's hard. mothers. Yo, listen, it's hard. I wouldn't I might, I wouldn't even let my um my son's mother raise him by so because. I know how hard it is. I was stuck with her for like four days. <laughs> she got she got mad at me or whatever because I was saying like I could like I could do it. Third, that's in the third. Like you know, telling her like I could do it. It ain't that hard. She left me with him for four days. Whooped your ass. Whooped my ass, bro. Oh, I'm, I'm like, damn. Yeah. 
I said, damn, yeah, that's why I got to be two parents in the house. Like, they got like, to they gotta be know. active. Oh, yes, girl. people got to stop this casual sex with random people and having yeah. children because it really affects right. the babies. And then and right. as they grow into adulthood, it I was affects with my baby them. Mother for ten years. Of, wow, so, long term well, relationship. Yeah, nine years. Nice. Ten years to be next year. So. And then y'all just had a baby. So, yeah, y'all waited. Oh, that was good. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what's that's up, beautiful. man. Right, right. That's Listen, beautiful. man. Keep it going, boy. Yo, support my man Dre Cash. <laughs> you on all streaming platforms, correct? Yeah, where, they, where, they can, where they can find you at? Man, everywhere. Just type in J-R-E-Y-C-A-S-H. It's going to pop up. I got a website, too, though. www.jreycash.com. Let them know. It's Michelle Visa. It's your boy, Scoochie Oso. Ah, Juicy Monet. And you can't live with them and can't, can't live, live without, without them. them. Peace. You've been listening to the Can't Live With Them, Can't Live Without Them podcast. You can find us on all social media platforms at Can't Live With Them. That's EM. <laughs> and if you want this audio right here, it's anywhere you look up your podcast. Mm. Damn. I want my podcast looked up right now. <laughs> <laughs>